My guest is the teen sensation whose cover of Lady Gaga's paparazzi went viral and earned him a record deal. After two North American tours and writing his own material, his debut album is coming out next month. Grace and Chance, welcome to the Top 20. Well, thanks for having me, Julia. I'm very Absolutely. excited to be here. So, so let's get the story straight. Last April, you had a talent competition in your school. You yes. entered playing the piano, singing Lady Gaga's paparazzi. Your brother throws it up online in the evening, and by the next day, everybody knows who you are. Yes. What was that like? Like, what were the first 24 hours like? Well, you know, it was so crazy because, uh, you know, my goal was like a thousand views. Like, I was like, if I can get a thousand, I'm good. That's like a solid number that's gonna be good. And, you know, eventually it was like 2,000, 3,000, 4, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. And then around 13,000, Ellen called. So she called very early on and she, you know, she said, we want you to be on the show. And this was just like, come to the show. Nothing else really attached. We didn't know that it was going to be a record deal and me being in the studio, moving out to LA, this whole type of thing. And so then eventually it came on and now I'm talking to you right now. That's <laughs> amazing. Let's take a look at that video right now and see how, how it all got started. <laughs> girls in the background and yes. their faces because they're just completely blown away by what's going on. Is that kind of been the response when you when you got back to school where people are like, "Wow, you're super talented," or did they know? Like, well, it was very it was very like um it was kind of more of a thing like everybody was just very surprised. They were just like, because, you know, Edmonds, where I'm from, is a pretty small town. Right. And so I was like, you know, you've met Ellen. You're about to go to L.A. And, you know, it was kind of um, because, you know, everybody knew I wasn't coming back to school after that when everything came back. And so it was kind of a sad thing. Everybody was like, oh, we're going to miss you. And But uh, I still visit every once in a while, and I'll pop in the school and be like, I'm back. And so, you know, uh, I have a lot of good friends in Edmonds and Oklahoma. That's good. I'm glad that they were really good to you before and after oh, yes. and not just when the switch happened, you know? Exactly. So you have your debut album coming out next month in August, Hold On Till Night, and you did writing and producing on the album. What was it like putting this kind of record together for the first time? Well, you know, I wrote more than half of the record, and, you know, I worked with some amazing producers. I worked with The Matrix a lot on the record. I worked with uh, the interns. I worked with uh, Daniel Brisbo, who I love to death. And, you know, it was, it was such a... Um, just fun process and what was so great about the album is when I went into the studio and we, you know, we were writing and producing it, the boundaries were unlimited. I could write whatever I wanted, I could do a genre I wanted to and so I really just went into the studio with this just endless possibility of whatever because nothing was really planted yet. I didn't have a style, I didn't really have a genre. And so they didn't push one on you? No, they, they really didn't and they, they really understood when I started, uh, when I was in the studio and I started writing there like you got this. We'll just we'll do the hard work. You mean this year? And so, um, and uh, now we have an album coming out. Hold on till the night. It's coming out August second. That's amazing, dude. I'm so stoked for you. Do you have a lot of experience with breakups? I have a lot of experience with being dumped. I've, oh. I've been dumped lots, lots. Uh, Not anymore. Probably. For now the you album. could be like, oh, <laughs> you should have thought twice about dumping so, me. Uh, but this song is, uh, it's, it's. It's on the album, and the album is very inspired by you know love and heartbreak, and so um, this song is kind of like the I'm through, I'm done. You're That's unfriended. a lot for a 13 year old to know about and to write about, and to have this kind of success at your age is very rare and mm -hmm. extremely unique situation. What does it feel like to be 13 years old and and being on the bus all the time and touring all the time? Well, you know, everybody asks me this question, and they're always like, you know, don't you miss being a kid? And you know, I, I miss lots of things about, you know, going to school, being able to go to the movies with my friends, but, I mean, honest to God, I love what I do. I really, I have a passion for having, being really busy and being on the bus and putting on shows, and it's just, it's, it's, I can see myself in other kids that watch me. I see myself watching this person, Grace and Chance, and so I'm always telling myself, I'm like, what, if I were still 13 and we were still at school, what would I want Grace and Chance to do? You're quite a little grown up, dude. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm 45, actually. <laughs> People call me 13 sometimes. But Very nice. I just broke it out. I'm, I'm 45 years old, actually. Good to, well, you look great. Really, really nice. Skin. Thank you. It's, it's, the, it's the skin tone. You gotta moisturize. Very moisturized. So you have, you have really high profile friends. I mean, Ella Dege uh, Ellen DeGeneres, Lady Gaga herself. How, what, what kind of advice has like Lady Gaga given you? 
Well, Gaga gave me uh, lots of advice, um, but she, she mainly told me never to change myself. And I took that really to heart, and um, especially with the album, the videos, everything. And, uh, you know, it's really, I, I have a very big creative input in the whole project, and I haven't really changed myself. So do you like take advantage of your friendship by like harassing her at four in the morning, like, hey, I'm lonely. Can you talk to me? <laughs> no, I don't do that. I would, I would never wake her up out of her sleep. She'd be very mad. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I am back with Grace and Chance, and we were talking about your album, which comes out next month, a few weeks before your 14th birthday, right? Yes. So how do you plan on celebrating your 14th birthday as well as your debut album? Well, I th I'm actually going to be um, filming Raising Hope. I am uh, guest starring in Raising Hope, which is on nice. Fox. And so that's my birthday present. Nice. I'm probably going to have a little cupcake with a little candle and go and get a couple gifts. No big bash. And no big bash. I'm just going to take it easy this year. How do you celebrate the album release? I mean, this is a monumental moment. Well, album release, actually, we're in New York right now. I'm actually just going to be a couple blocks down at Union Square. I'm going to be at the Best Buy, and I'm going to sign for all the fans. And So I'm just going to celebrate with the fans on that day. Also in Long Island, I'm doing a signing as well. What would you say has been your most exciting moment with a fan or a most memorable moment? You know, I just... I really like when they just simply come up to me and they, they say, you know, I just, I love this record. You know, I just, I, just someone, just a normal Joe off, Joe Blow off the street just comes up to me and says, I love your record. It, it inspires me to wake up every morning or it inspires me to do this or do that. Cross out pictures. And exactly. Like, oh, just let it go. <laughs> like, just stuff like that. It just, it makes it all more the worthwhile. What inspires you? Like, what, what kind of music did you grow, on, uh, grow up on? Well, you know, I, um, my brother and sister are both uh, kind of rock junkies. So, you know, I grew up listening to like ACDC and some heavy metal and like all this type of thing. But I know. exactly. But for this album, I was very inspired by Journey actually. And I was, I would always listen to these old ballads and I'd be like, I want to do this for pop music. And so I'm very inspired by Journey. But I'm also a uh, Coldplay. I love Snow Patrol. I'm a huge fan of Taylor Swift. So I make my way around music. So have you decided on a particular genre that you would like to embody forever, or are you still kind of feeling it out? You know, this album is a pop rock album. Right. It's, uh, you know, like, uh, what I always say, if it's like One Republic and Snow Patrol, if they made an album, mm -hmm. it's, it's somewhere in that ball field. But, you know, I'm really into um, a lot of different jazz. I, I, I like experimenting with different things. I love to you know, do a JC and Alicia Keys, like something like that. So I, I won't experiment with anything. Well, I think, um, I think that the opportunities are all within your reach and you could do whatever you want. Oh, You're a very, you. very talented you. uh, young man and I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so much for being with well, us on the Top 20 me. today, Grayson. Guys, check out Grayson Chance's new album, Hold On Till the Night, and stores August 2nd. Mm -hmm.